Welcome back, YouTubers. We have, um, we are making these packs right now, so let's good, let's get into it. And um, so this is pretty much to show you how I got to this point with uh, creating a G code for this box. So uh, at this point, uh, let me let me hide this. So this is the part that I made on FreeCAD and it has pad, a packet and a hole and I believe I have one, two, I got three sketches for this whole part. Okay, and so now once you have your 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 body, now uh, you select this option here. Um, so so I, I you start at where uh, part. Okay, part design. That's where I made this box. Okay, so I created this project. I call it box. So I'm gonna do chamfer drill on the top, and <clears throat> so I call it like that, so I, can, I know what I'm doing. And then um, once you finish creating your, your 3D object, and then you go to uh, the path workbench here um, in this case I already created a job so you click this button here this creates a path job and then if this option comes up you select the object in this case the base and then once you, you click OK, then you get this job. And then on the job you expand it. And you, what you're going to get is, once you get the job, you get this window here. Then under this window you put your settings, the output, uh, the output you select as your processor based on what you what what you have you know many people have Linux CNC others they have they have different ones the one I have is ERPL and then the output file you select a folder where you want to put your 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 work general uh, setup tools showing uh, it was sitting so that it wasn't showing my work so now that it's there you you put your tools here I have two tools you can add more um, uh, to put the spindle speed the feed rate it's on this window so, 
let me do that since I'm there. Um, that all depends on your tool. The depends on your uh, how many tooth the bit has and all this other stuff. Um, so there's formulas that you gotta apply to calculate your RPM, the feed rate, and all this other stuff. So I already have those on hand. So for the chamfer, that one, but I have for the end mill here six. Thousand. This one is nine. This. That's for my setup. Your setup might be different. You have to calculate, do the math. No, this is for my my setup. So the chamfer, I have to look at my chart and see uh, what values I come out. Now on the work plan, here uh, when you start the job, this is empty. So afterwards, you add um, so then you say okay. Then you have this, and then here on the operations, that's where you start doing the operation. So. <clears throat> and the operations is uh, where you have uh, this goes to the work plan but um, so for mine it's uh, so once you do it it will give you a file here cut material um, so under the option I'm base geometry you gotta pick your face where you doing the, 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 the job so I'm doing in this phase something that I had trouble with uh, before was uh, here packet shape so I did the packet shape and and you have this option here I, I picked the zigzag offset that works best and um, what was happening is uh, nothing was nothing was uh, cutting and <clears throat> so then I went to base geometry and I look at here and there was what I selected it wasn't here so somehow I didn't know so then I went into the shape and I pick uh, one by one you know, I select it one by one and I say add. Here's an option to add. Then you say add or remove. So then once was that, now I have, now I can emulate this. And uh, this is what, this is what I end up with. So I did the face, right? The milling face is doing first. And then it's going to do the drilling of the holes. And then it's going to do around the profile face. And then it's going to do the pocket. There's other options to do the packet. So that's the packet. Um, and now as you can see, you end up with this, um, these files here, but you can delete them. So you just highlight delete, delete, and you end up with your shape. So now let's say, um, I want to do the packet differently. Uh, select that, then you do delete. Are you sure? Yes. And then you go on the operations. 
and then uh, you say you want to I want to do this uh, 3d there's adapting clearing and profiling you can do this option too so let's say I want to do that and then under here um, there's no option I mean there's nothing there because I didn't select it cancel so now you select um, Okay, I know by looking at this, it looks like uh, there's some issue there. So, go to operations. Zigzag. Okay, so on the operation for that one, it's doing a zigzag, but if you look closely, it looks like some materials left. So it's better to select zigzag offset and look at apply. That's gonna extend more. Now let's do it one more time. Okay, so now let's delete this one. And now run it again. Play. Okay, so let's see. Well, the simulation helps you to see what, what, uh, what, what, how the work is gonna come out. You know, you might change the order of operations. Um, that's where your experience comes up as far as uh, CNC, you know. Uh, and so now, okay, that that looks clean, right? See, that looks clean cleaner than the previous option. So zigzag with offset it's better. So always use that option there. And so then you click OK. Okay, so take that out. Now generate G code. Save and it's going to say you want to override it. Say yes. Oh. Then you go OK. And then you can um, uh, 
open a universal G code sender and then here you go open file this is where open and that's it that's your job right there so here's all the G code But they don't have an option where you can add comments but looking at the code here you can uh, you can actually make changes here so you put a semicolon um, so m3 it's uh, on the spindle and G17 you know that you have to search online and see exactly each code G0 G0 G1 is for movement so all these codes are for moving then uh, Somewhere here, I should have a M80 or M. But somewhere I gotta turn off this spindle. I. Well, that that will be another video where you you. You analyze the code and see if it makes sense what's happening here. You know? So, so this is the different operations, milling phase, then it's the drilling, right? It's doing the drilling at its positions, and then finish profile, that's the ground. And here also you can simulate. And I have my Arduino connected already, so you click here, online, and go through it, see what's happening. So that will take a while. So you can simulate there. The as uh, another simulation um, that's gonna take a while so I'm uh, I'm gonna stop at this point and